everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be December Morning Basket. Now, if you've been here before, you know that I absolutely love holidays, I love themes, and when those two things can coincide, I tend to go overboard. So that is your warning before I turn you around and show you my Christmas theme December Morning Basket. Now, I have teamed up with Heidi from Boy Boss Mama, and we are making this a collaboration. So you will also want to check out the playlist in the description box down below so that you can see tons of Mama's morning baskets for December and their different Christmas ideas and ways that you can incorporate that. Also, if you haven't joined my Morning Basket Facebook group, I highly recommend it. There are tons of amazing mamas and inspiration and lots of resources. The link for that will be in the description box as well. I really, really suggest that. Now, before I show you my morning basket, I do want to go ahead and give you one little like piece of insight. We Christmas school for all of December. Um, there will be a video coming up shortly that will explain Christmas schooling. So make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell icon so that you will be notified when it comes out. But that means that <clears throat> we won't be doing any curriculum for the month of December. And the majority of our educational uh, resources will be in our morning basket. So what you are going to see is the majority of what we'll be doing for December. So don't feel like, oh my gosh, my morning basket doesn't have half of that in it. This month, this is the majority of what we will be doing. I hope you enjoy my December morning basket. And let me know in the comments down below what you'll be putting in yours. This is my December morning basket plans. If you're new to my channel and you've never seen one of my videos for morning basket, the things in gray, Bible, logic, journal, memory work, and read aloud are things we do every day. And the things in color, language arts, geography, and history, art and music, math, and science and nature are things we loop through. So we would do all of these each day and then one of these in addition to that. So that is my December morning basket plan. Now for Bible, we will be using the Jesus Storybook Bible with the Advent plans for the Storybook Bible. So it tells you what to read each day for the 25 days. And then we have these little cards. that have the picture and then on the back tell you what day it is, what scripture to read and the story in the Bible to read that day. So we'll be using these cards as well. After we're done each day, we will punch a hole in these and make these ornaments to go along with it. So that at the end of the month, we will have all 25 ornaments that lead up to the story of Jesus's birth. For logic this month, we will be using the Spot It Holidays. This has become a favorite game in our house. And the Laugh Out Loud Christmas Jokes for Kids because, well, why not? For journal, we will be continuing to use our question and answer a day for kids. Three years, 365 questions. This has become something that is a favorite in, uh, for us. It um, has a question each day of the year. And then you do it for three years. So at the end of three years, this will be an amazing keepsake. We have almost made it through our first entire year. And I'm very excited about that. For memory work this month, we are going to attempt to memorize Twas the Night Before Christmas. This is actually a board book, but I liked the way it was split up. So we will just try to memorize one page a day until we have it memorized. And if we need to slow down or go faster, we will. And if we don't get it memorized, that's fine. But I thought this would be something fun to try to memorize this month. <clears throat> For read aloud, I actually have three read alouds this month <clears throat> because we will be doing mostly morning basket stuff. Our first read aloud and the one we read every year, the best Christmas pageant ever. This will be our first year reading A Boy Called Christmas. And I also already have in my cart, if we enjoy this one, the second one, which is The Girl Who Saved Christmas. And then we will also be reading The Family Under the Bridge. I also have a huge stack of picture books that we'll be reading as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links will be in the description box because that is probably where I will be sharing those. Now for the Language Arts Loop, I have... A large stack of stuff. 
we will be doing the roll of story, which I have all of them in here, but um, the roll of story Christmas is what we'll be doing this month. So you roll a dice and you pick your character setting and problem. And then we just use a composition notebook and you can see that she has her past stories in here. We will also be doing the Christmas Mad Libs, the Santa's Short Suit Shrunk, and other Christmas tongue twisters, just because I thought that would be fun. And this is one of my favorites. It is Santa Claus's Short Poems from the North Pole. And each day for 25 days, it just has short little poems, and the poems kind of tell you about um, what's going on at the North Pole on each day kind of the preparations and what he's doing. So I absolutely love this for poetry for this month. For geography and history, <clears throat> we will be doing a world of cookies for Santa, which is following Santa's trip around the world. And as he travels the world, he discusses the different things that he will eat in all the different places. And then in the back of the book are the recipes. So that is what we will be doing. We will read a short um, little synopsis about each, and then we will bake the recipes for each place that we visit. And then we will also be using our year full of stories to read through December's um, as usual. It is gorgeous illustrations for December as well. And there are quite a few different stories. There are a French Christmas, an African Christmas, the Mexican Christmas, so that will give us the folk tales around the world that celebrate Christmas. For art and music, the only thing I actually have in here is the Learn to Draw Christmas and then this little blank book from Target. Um, this is really simple. It just gives you some steps of how to draw. So we actually had this in our morning basket last year and it's making another appearance this year. The other things we will be doing that are not in here are the Maestro Classics, the Nutcracker for music. I have the MP3 for that. We will also be doing um, Squilt Christmas Carols. I have that. Um, basically, that's pretty much all online for music. And then for art, we will also be doing Chalk Pastels, um, the Nutcracker Chalk Pastels, and the Christmas Chalk Pastels, which, again, those are video courses, so they're not in the basket, but those will be done during morning basket time. For math this month, I have these cute little elf math task cards. And they practice adding three numbers. So this one says Santa's elves made four baby dolls, three toy trucks, and six wagons. How many toys did they make in all? And then we just have some of the Target Christmas mini erasers to use as manipulatives. And for science this month... I have these are from, I'll have to look it up. I'll make sure that's all linked in the blog post that I will link in the description box. But these are little STEM challenge cards. So they have things like um, write a letter to Santa and turn it into an airplane, build a pulley for Santa, a map, cookie tasting, uh, design a toy machine, draw a floor plan, floor, floor plan for Santa's workshop, create a jingle bell maze. So they're just STEM challenges for each day. They build up to um, 25 days because on the very last day you track Santa on Christmas Eve. And then I also purchased the Sassafras Science Christmas Science Guide and it is 21 ways to add um, scientific into your homeschool. And so it goes into the very first pages, which I loved talk about Christmas school and how they suggest doing it. It gives you a supply list, how to handle homeschool during the holidays, <clears throat> and then uh, 15 minutes at the window for winter nature study, holiday science tips, and then it gets right into the different experiments. So some of these will be done right after morning basket because it's not something you can do like in morning basket time. But that is where this is to remind us to do it every day. My plan is to do one of these each day or each loop, depending on how our time works. We may do more than one each time we loop to it. But those are some of the activities inside this. And the last thing I have in my basket 
is the Absolute Dice Christmas. <clears throat> if you have been around my channel, you know we bought the Halloween ones and we absolutely love them. We played them almost every day in our morning basket for Halloween. And in October, I ordered the Christmas ones because I knew we would love them. So these will also be um, giving us some math practice, but more than anything, just some fun every day as we play the Absolute Dice Christmas. Thank you. 